So we're going to be cutting down this here tree now. I want to do it that way. Nah, I think it won't go down. <laughs> Alright, so we're There she goes. No back cut. That was fun. Stickers. Are we gonna cut this tree down here? Tree number two. Yes, sir. So. Nice. Nice tree. Alright. Oh. Oh. Bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, that's the tree. All the limbs cut off of it. Yay. That fall was too slow. I 
found the one we missed. Go over here, you told me to keep an eye on. Just because, like, you know. Yeah, I'll record you dragging it. That's how we do it. Then we'll add to our slowly dying pile. Right over here. I think I've got like all of it right here. Just a hope. Yeah, I'm good. The six step might be I'm slipping along today, aren't I? Slippery boy. Oh yeah, we're going to have to pull that one in farther. So here we have our pile of logs. Um, this one, that one is cut to length. So we're going to use this tree, this tree, this tree, and this tree to make our fort. And basically we're going to take all these logs. We're going to put one like seven feet up on the tree or so. And then we'll do one about halfway down. So we're going to start cutting these to length. Okay, so we're going to cut this one to length. So I'm going to line it up down there. This will be for the same uh, two trees. I don't know what we're going to use the scraps for. We might just burn them. So. All right, you can stop it. All right, so this log is the next um, piece, so we're going to cut that to length. Okay. All right, so now we have a fatter log for the top support. So James is going to cut it up real quick. Cracked. One hit. Oh, you missed. <laughs> it's like starting to split. Do you want me to finish her off? I cannot not finish. I was like, you can do it. There you go. Is it disconnected? No. There we go. All right. So this is kind of our like hangout area, camp out. Kind of thing. We got the fire. Got the firewood. Got the fire. We're Don't worry, we're not going to burn that. We're, we're going to pick it up. Tree. We kind of did like a border all the way around. And then we used to have like a oven thing, we called it. It didn't work very well. 
We cooked bacon on it once, but yeah. This is the grill. It used to be one like block higher, but yeah, and then we use the blocks for that. But basically, you get a fire going under there, sheet metal, put a pan show on our there. Air, show our air intakes. Oh yeah. Got the air intake down in there. Goes straight into the fire. This is our cinder block pile and, brick. and bricks. Got some mushy firewood, um, rocks. This is our newest creation for cooking. We might end up moving it into the fort somehow. We kind of forgot to record making it. Yeah, we were gonna record it, but basically you make the fire down in there, heats up this rock, smoke comes out. We've never actually cooked on it, but it'll work good. Here's the fort. Okay, so the plan is once we get this big log hung up across the trees like that, we'll put uh, one of these, use one of these smaller ones and do kind of like a middle support brace to support it all. Um, we'll do one on the other side too. And then we're gonna put a roof on it. So that'll be interesting. I, don't, I have no idea how we're gonna waterproof it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But you know, we'll figure it out. I think we, we can do it. Yeah. So that's the general size of the fort. It's probably 25 by 10, I'd guess, which is pretty big.